Hello everyone. Thank you for watching the DBD World videos. So, uh, from this video onwards, in the next few videos, we we'll learn about Oracle Database Administration. This videos is not an exhaustive discussion about the entire Oracle Database concepts. However, I'm just going to cover what are the important terminologies. Okay, because being an SAP Basis Administrator we should be aware of some technical terms we should be aware of the database as well as the operating system part also okay so we have many databases which sap uses like oracle db2 okay the sql server microsoft sql server okay so uh, because oracle is extensively used by most of the customers i'm going to cover oracle database administration okay so uh, in, in this video, so I'll be covering only the important terminology, the, the important concepts because when we do, when we operate on SAP, okay, sometimes we have to manage the database also, okay. So, you should be familiar with certain terminology, certain concepts of the database, okay. So, those things I'm going to cover. Now, Oracle database. Oracle database is a relational database with object and extensible markup language XML capabilities. So uh, everybody should be aware of relational database and software, right? And XML language, extensible markup language. So Oracle database, it's a relational database and it has XML capabilities. In a relational database, all data is stored in two dimensional tables that are composed of rows and columns. Oracle Database enables you to store data updated and efficiently retrieve it with a high degree of performance, reliability and scalability. Okay, so relational database is, is a one where all the tables are stored in two dimensions. We have rows and columns. Okay, so we have the columns here and we have the rows like this. So, so this minimum information everybody should be having in their mind okay so what is a relational database okay it, it composes of tables two dimension tables which has rows and columns in it now oracle database enables you to store data updated and efficiently retrieve it with a high degree of performance reliability and scalability okay so oracle database it helps you to store the data updated and retrieve it okay it ensures high degree of performance okay the performance when we talk about database or software okay okay especially the database okay we should be very much concerned about the performance okay how fast you get the data from the database is important for the customers then reliability reliability means we should ensure that we should have minimal downtime okay the systems must be up and running most of the time and scalability you should you know the database should be in such a way that you can increase it day by day like if the users increase even the data increases you have to the database also grows in size okay so so you should you, you should be capable of adding new features expanding the database easily okay so all these things oracle ensures now and uh, one more thing is why i have written here 11g because the latest release is 12 okay 12c but most of the customers they are using 11g only okay very few have you know started using 12c uh, so few customers have you know started using 12c in their production systems very few okay so most of the systems in the market are on 11g okay and a very few are on 10g also but oracle is strictly saying like please go to 11g okay now the oracle database is composed of the following elements the oracle software that you install on your host computer now anything whether it's a database or an erp or whatever it is it has a set of executables the software part okay similarly even oracle also we have the oracle software now it has the database which is a collection of physical files on one or more disks the database contains user data metadata and control structures metadata or data about the data is the collection of information on disk 
that permits Oracle software to manage user data. An example of metadata is the data dictionary. The control structures such as the control file and online read log files ensure integrity, availability and recoverability of user data. Now, when I say Oracle database, okay, database always refers to the physical files on the disk. Okay, it's, it's the collection of physical files on the disk. Now, so what are these uh, files? What the files contain? They contain user data, metadata and control structures. Metadata is nothing but metadata is the data which, is, which the Oracle software uses to manage the user data. Okay, now example is the data dictionary. So the, the data which is specific to the Oracle software is the metadata and control structures means we have the control file and the online radio log files okay so these are these terms like the control files in the online online radio log files i'll discuss them in the successive videos okay so we have certain control structures which oracle uses to ensure integrity availability and recoverability of user data okay that means that say like suddenly there was some disk crash or something the database has halted now i want to bring up the database again so we should ensure that when when i bring the data all the data which is saved is is there and the data which is not saved is rolled back okay so that is it deals with integrity availability and recover recoverability you should recover the data right you store the data okay your disk has crashed the database has crashed now again you start up the database okay you, you have to recover the data on the disk again okay so for that uh, oracle uses so many things like doing backups every day and all those things so all that administration part i'll, I'll cover in the next couple of videos don't worry about them okay so for to make sure that data is available at all the time correctly integrity should be there it should be available and you should recover the data also so for these things we have some certain control structures which are nothing but the control file and the online redo log files okay so this online redo log files are very important point in oracle database they they are very important they contain very all the changes which are you know made are written in this online redo log files okay so in the next videos i'll explain you like how these are used like how does the control file you know what information it contains and online redo log files what it contains the data files what information do they contain okay so just don't worry about them at this point of time so we have the database is nothing but it's the set of physical files on the disk okay and this files they contain the user data metadata and control structures okay now oracle instance okay database and instance are two different terminology when i say oracle database it's only the files the instance is different the instance has the background process which are the operating system process or the threads that perform the work of accessing storing monitoring and recovering user data metadata and control files associated with the database so similarly sap has set of work process the java it has the server process so similarly oracle has some background process we call them as background process or they are the actual operating system process which do all the work a user request is submitted okay so then it a process has to do the activity okay so these process they make up the instance and even the shared memory areas used by the background process in sap also an instance has certain work process it has the shared memory you have the message server gateway icm all those things right so here also the oracle instance it has the background process and the shared memory okay so when i say instance it is these two database it's the physical files on the disk okay so when somebody is you know technically talking about database he he or she is talking about the files on the disk it's not about the 
the instance part which has the background process plus the shared memories and Oracle instance is different from the database okay so uh, just you know these two are different okay but generally many people when they you know generally they say Oracle database they assume that oh it's the data plus everything the process the shared memories and everything oh they are talking about Oracle database no database is different instance is different okay now the other two are the server process that perform work on behalf of connected users and applications and the memory and the temporary storage used by these processes. Server process parse and execute SQL statements and retrieve and return results to the user or application. Okay. Now, server process means they work on behalf of the users. Okay. So, we have the database instance. Okay. We have the clients, the users. So many desktops or laptops. They connect to the database host okay so these server process they do the work on behalf of the users and the applications okay so sap application it has to connect to the database so this connection is established through the server process okay so whether it's a user or whether it's some other different application other than oracle which help which wants to you know retrieve the data and do manipulation of data on this database so the server process help in that okay and and the instance has the background process the background process means they they belong to the oracle okay the oracle entire you know software uh, database okay they help they help in this accessing storing monitoring and recovering the data this background process is internal to the oracle the server process means the other connections the outside connections to this oracle database okay now this server process they parse and execute sql statements and retrieve and return results to the user or applications now and other important one which we have is the oracle net so this is a software layer that enables client applications and oracle database to communicate over a network and the oracle net listener okay so oracle net is nothing but it's a software which enables all the client applications and the oracle database to communicate over a network okay so here we have important one is the listener okay so this is a process that listens for connection requests from the network so the oracle uh, database and instance okay when we talk about oracle okay it has a listener okay so this listener process will belongs to the oracle net okay so this listens for the connections from the network okay so so oracle database is composed of the following oracle software the actual database the oracle instance the server process and the oracle net okay so this is all about oracle database okay so it's a relational database and it has it uses xml capabilities relational database means data is stored in form of two-dimensional tables which has rows and columns okay so now the oracle database it enables you to it enables you to you can store data you can update it update it means you can modify or delete okay or insert all update operations and efficiently retrieve it okay then and it ensures high degree of performance reliability and scalability okay so these are the important things why because of which oracle is in huge demand in market today it has a very high degree of performance reliability and scalability okay now and the other thing which we which we have discussed is about the elements of the oracle database the oracle software the database with the collection of physical files the instance the background process plus the shared memories then you have the the server process okay so the connections from the users or the other software are made through these server process okay and you have the oracle net okay uh, to work the oracle software has to communicate through a network with the other third party applications right so for that purpose we have the oracle net it's a software layer on top of the instance okay so these are the elements of an oracle database now 
We move on to the next section that is the tools for administrating the database. Okay, so the following are some products, tools, and utilities you can use to achieve your goals as a database administrator. Okay, so uh, these are the important tools. Okay, so everybody should be familiar with these tools. Okay, so now the first one is Oracle Universal Installer OUI. This is a utility that installs your Oracle software and options. It can automatically start Oracle Database Configuration Assistant to install a database. Okay, so from you do everything from an OUI. Okay, so this is an utility which installs your Oracle software. Okay, now say like first you have some host system, you want to install Oracle software here. So you do it through Oracle Universal Installer okay so it automatically starts this oracle database configuration assistance which is used to install the database now oracle database configuration assistant oracle database configuration assistance it's okay it's known as dbca oracle dbca it's a utility which creates a database from templates that are supplied by oracle or you can create your own okay so uh, this database configuration assistant it's used to create the database so generally oracle has some standard templates you can use those templates or you can build your own database so it enables you to configure a pre-configured c database thus saving the time and effort of generating and customizing the new database so generally we take the templates which are available in oracle which oracle itself gives and we build our new database from it okay so oui is used to install the oracle software and it helps in starting the oracle database configuration assistant now this oracle database configuration assistant helps you to create a database okay so you, from the available templates you can pick up one and create your own database now we have the database upgrade assistance this database upgrade assistance is a tool that guides you through the upgrade of your existing database to a new oracle database release okay so now we are done with the oracle universal installer it's used to install the oracle software then we have the important one oracle database configuration assistance this helps you to create the database from the available templates which are provided by the oracle now we have database upgrade assistance this is used for upgrades like if you want to migrate from 9i to 10g 10g to 11g 11 to 12 okay so for a release upgrade we use the database upgrade assistance okay just keep in mind it's not for oracle patching like similar to sap nodes okay like uh, we have the sap support pack levels okay so to go from one uh, level to under we use the support pack update manager okay even now earlier we used to have spam okay uh, the support pack application manager okay so now we are using sum sum is a tool which used for applying support packs that is you go from one support pack level to under support pack level in the same release right but and some is also used for release upgrades in sap also okay so you want to migrate from ecc5 to ecc6 whatever it is we use some we have the same tool there but here we have this upgrade assistance just keep in mind it's used for release upgrade when you want to migrate from one release to another and not like for the okay so it's not you used for patching in the same release this used to migrate from one release to another now the next one we have the net configuration assistance netc this is a utility that enables you to configure listeners and naming methods which are critical components of the oracle database network so this net configuration assistance okay it helps you to configure listeners we have different naming methods okay now we have the oracle system and we have the sap so both of them they have to communicate over a network so this this net configuration assistance is used by the oracle system to con to communicate over a network so we have certain things like listeners and naming methods okay so these are these are the tools which are utilities which are used to used by the oracle database to communicate over a network okay now 
they are the oracle enterprise manager database control the primary product for managing your database is oracle enterprise manager database control that's the database control it's a web interface after you have installed the oracle database software created or upgraded a database and configured the network you can use the database control to manage your database now we have started with oracle universal installer which has which will install the oracle software next we have the oracle database configuration assistance uh, which is used to create the database then you can database upgrade assistance to use for upgrades we have the net configuration assistant which used for the communication over the network okay now once your database is installed or it's upgraded okay or created freshly whatever it is we have the uh, database control okay this is used to manage your database that's why it is known as oracle enterprise manager database control the database control also provides an interface for performance advisors and for oracle utilities such as sql star loader and recovery manager okay so this is a web interface tool from where you can manage your database okay so this also gives an interface for other oracle utilities like the sql star loader and and the recovery ma manager rman okay so in later when we go into i'm not going into that depth okay as i have mentioned in the first place this is only a summary of what oracle is okay and in the next few few slides i will explain a little bit about the technical terms like what an oracle instance consists of okay so all those technical te terminology will be explained okay i'm not going into that much depth of you know all these oracle utilities like sql star loader and recovery manager and all these things okay so that's why here also i have just mentioned like what are the tools used for administrating the database and each tool like just have given two three points a small description about that tool okay so because this is an sap training i'll not be going into the depth of this oracle database administration okay because an sap administrator is supposed to have some minimal knowledge about the uh, backend database okay so that's why i'm explaining a bit about oracle administration okay so so these are the uh, five tools okay so apart from this we have one more thing oracle also offers separately licensed oracle enterprise manager management packs management plugins and other products you can purchase to enhance the capabilities of oracle enterprise manager in specific environments okay so uh, apart from these we have uh, separately you know licensed oracle enterprise manager management packs we have management plugins and all other products okay to enhance the capabilities of your oracle enterprise manager in specific environment so to to enhance this oracle enterprise manager database control in specific like for one specific environment it it needs to have some extra plugins or extra management packs so those are also uh, provided by oracle okay as part of their tools okay so we have started this training with what is an oracle database it's a relational database it has X xml capabilities extensible markup language capabilities okay to a relational database means uh, the tables are stored in two dimensions we have rows and columns okay and oracle is such a database which it provides a high degree of performance reliability and scalability that is why it is in huge demand in today's market okay now uh, we have discussed about the basic elements of an oracle database the oracle software the database the instance okay so these are different terminology then we have the server process and we have the oracle net okay so these are the initial tools of a oracle elements sorry these are not tools these are the initial elements of an oracle database okay so uh, database it should have some oracle software it will have a database that's the physical files then it has the instance that is the background process and the shared memory then you have server process for the clients to communicate with the oracle host then we have the oracle net that is like for the oracle to communicate over a network so all these are the basic elements of an oracle database now 
then we have uh, seen different tools for administrating the database the oracle universal installer then the oracle database configuration assistance assistant then database upgrade assistance net configuration assistant and oracle enterprise manager database control and apart from this oracle also provides various other management packs and plugins also to enhance this database control okay now so with this i have given a brief idea of what oracle database is what are its tools and what are the basic elements of a database okay we should know like what is an instance and what is a database okay so these two things we are more concerned about in the oracle software okay because all these other things okay these tools or everything these are more used by the database administrators not by the sap team okay but say like your sap system is running on oracle and you want to do an upgrade of oracle from 10g to 11g then of course you will have to use this oracle universal installer all these things database upgrade assistance and all those things okay but uh, generally like these are more and frequently used by a dba in their day-to-day -day activities okay so the sap and some if you want to do some particular type of action on the oracle database like doing some patching or doing some upgrades then only we use these tools okay so it's once in a while okay so this is not our day-to-day -day activity maintaining the database in some projects like we have a different dba team also completely so the sap basis administrators they don't do any act any type of activity on the database it's solely the database uh, dba administrator who has to take care of the database okay so but in most of the projects the sap basis administrator job also has it includes the responsibilities of managing and maintaining the backend database to some extent also okay so uh, so that's why like being an sap basis administrator we have to be familiar about certain concepts of the database okay and and not like when we are doing some patching or upgrades but in the day-to-day -day performance of the sap system also the database performance should be good so you should know the like how to keep your database stable with good performance okay so you have to see that the space is always available in the database and you should also see that the performance of the database is good we have so many markers when we talk about performance okay so all those things and sap basis administrator should have some knowledge in order to tune and maintain the database okay so in the next video i'll go into more technical details of the oracle database and the oracle instance okay and then uh, we learn about some more things okay some more database activities um, which an sap administrator has to do okay so with this i end this video thank you for watching the video world videos